systems are computer systems that typically run either one function or a small number of functions. They interact very heavily with the world around them. Uh, their response tends to be real time. They're, they're used everywhere. I mean, so much of the world is connected. So even in applications like refrigerators, or microwave ovens, you've seen the replacement of what used to be control circuitry with micro microcontroller kind of circuitry. And that's not even counting the whole idea of smartphones. I worked 35 years at industry, including working at Intel, working at Radisys, and working at Serveron. And at Intel, I was primarily involved in chip design, and then I moved into more of a system engineering uh, and validation kind of role. But when I got to Radisys, Radisys is a company that builds embedded systems. And it was that's where really I got my passion uh, for embedded systems, because I loved working with that mix of hardware and software. And for me, I loved being able to be pretty close to the hardware. We have a, a, a pretty good embedded system track, I think. It's not, I don't think it's what you would call kind of the classic embedded system track, in, in which case you're, you're taking courses in real-time operating systems, and maybe you're working with Arduinos or Raspberry Pis or some kind of single-board computer. Our embedded track is built at least partly around the idea of system-on-chip. One of the things that makes our track, I think, a little bit different than some of the other embedded tracks, at least that I've seen, other universities do is we focus as much on hardware as we do on software and that through our core courses students get experience with everything from assembly language programming to Java. If you're looking for a job in embedded systems you're not likely to get a job just being a hardware designer or just being a software designer unless you're working at a really large company but most embedded system companies aren't that large. And most embedded system uh, projects don't have hundreds of people working on them. They have a few people. So I think our embedded system track, which offers that mix of hardware and software, provides really good uh, skills and practical experience and theory behind how to work as an embedded system developer. I think we have a unique program that has a really um, great mix between hardware and software. Um, I would say, uh, look at other programs, look how much software they teach you in terms of embedded systems. Software is incredibly important in these days. You really got to have very good programming skills, um, whether you build hardware or not, right? Even if you build hardware, you're programming in Verilog or VHDL. And so good programming skills is, is absolutely key, and I think we have in our track uh, great classes that will teach you anything from assembly language up to Java, um, and that directly translates into your job essentially. And so I think that's very unique. Also, Portland State has a lot of great, um, and especially our department has a lot of great connections and collaborations with industry. Obviously, Intel is the big player here, um, so we're very well placed in uh, locally within industry, um, that's a huge advantage usually for students to get internships. So I talked with them and they said, get into PSU and you'll not have a free time to think anything else mm -hmm. <laughs> other than your subjects. Mm -hmm. 
just you'll be busy with what you want to know. Mm-hmm. So that's why I chose PSU. Man. Either I go in electrical, electronics, mechanical. There is embedded system associated with their branch as well. Mm-hmm. They have to even think about that. Like it's not about just being software, like if you are a CS being just software engineer application. Mm-hmm. No, in embedded, you have to do the software and you have to relate that with the physical world, mm-hmm. with your hardware. In software, like computer person says, okay, I'm done with the coding. Mm-hmm. My program is fit, I'm 100% done. But the embedded guy will never say, even if its program is ready, he'll be like, I'm just 50% done. Mm-hmm. Now let me try over to integrate it with the hardware and see if it works or no. Uh, the kids, they now play with their embedded system at the age of two, three, their toys, you know. Right. So it's impossible to think anything without embedded, you know, right in this modern era. The long term goal will be teaching, like, will be like continuously growing my knowledge in this area. Why to leave such a nice area where every day something new happens. In my undergrad, like, there was not uh, much. Um, hands-on practice like we did just few so projects yeah like just the major projects we did and that we did all by ourselves like just with simple microprocessors leds and all those stuffs but uh, with this graduate master program i'll expect more than that like i want to do more hands-on i want to get free with that stuff and i want to have a proper knowledge of how to properly integrate my software how you test it how you check that okay the software is here how you make that device work what i want i'll i want to do that okay, okay. Yeah. my name is sandy i've been uh, working at intel for last eight years initially i was in uh, it doing uh, application development i was a software engineer and then i decided to go back to school at psu and it just so happened that PSU was very close by and I met Dr. Hall who suggested I take uh, 371 and I liked that class so I continued uh, attending more classes at PSU. My uh, favorite one was 540 because it was very close to uh, industry le- industry uh, applications and that was the first time I saw an F- actual FPGA board and this was the class where I learned most of, uh, most of the stuff. I think it is a very industry relevant track. Uh, many students who completed this track were able to find jobs in industry like Intel or uh, uh, Model Sim and several other companies, high tech companies. So, and and actually many of the faculties are from industry, which makes it all the more relevant. Yeah, I did because I made a career change. Now I'm an FPGA developer, thanks to all the classes that I took at PSU, 540, 544, 585, those kind of classes. So yeah, I did uh, uh, meet my objectives. So I got what I wanted. Mm